It's classic Lebanese glitz and glam, finding itself right at home in the capital's new seaside promenade, Zaytune Bay. The bay is a joint venture between Solidair, a Lebanese company rebuilding Beirut's city center, and the British-based Lebanese-owned Stowe Holding Company. Their joint venture, the Beirut Waterfront Development Project, created this. Farouk Kamal is its head and also Stowe's executive chairman. So far, it's been a smashing success. It's unbelievable. I still get calls today after we let everything and everybody knows it's all occupied. Please find us somewhere we want to come in. This is very much this enterprising Lebanon, the spirit of entrepreneurial Lebanon. That it most certainly is. The project broke ground amidst great turmoil some six years ago. I mean, on many occasions, our labor could not access the site because of security issues. We had, of course, the assassination of the late Premier Hariri just around the corner. The assassination of former Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri in a massive bomb blast set off a wave of politically motivated assassinations, ushering in yet another era of instability. The scars of that bomb blast and other remnants of Lebanon's bloody past are constant reminders of what has historically defined this nation. But $200 million projects like this are also symbols of Lebanese resilience and people's ability to constantly capitalize on business opportunity. Rent here is a whopping $1,200 per square meter for restaurants, each carefully vetted to create just the right variety. Among those making the cut, French bistro Amaris. 31-year-old Ziad Kamil is one of its four shareholders. The political risks of doing business he doesn't take into consideration. It's accepted fact. These are beyond our control. So the only other alternative is to leave Lebanon and place your investments in a safer, pla in a safer country or stay in Lebanon and just be aware that it might go up in flames in any day. This is the kind of risk we take. A risk that could prove quite fruitful. Return on investment is projected at 20% over five years. No matter the circumstances or what this nation is going through, Beirut's seafront institutions have always thrived. It's because of the culture and the country's ideal location, which makes property along here an ideal investment. So much so that Farouk Kamal has his second project ready to go on this 300 square meter patch of prime seafront with just a base cost of half a billion dollars. And while regional and domestic threats are always looming, for now the Bay and its clientele, mostly Lebanese, have been spared the ripple effect. And besides, those doing business here tend to bank on Lebanon's bounce back factor. Arwa Damon for Marketplace Middle East in Beirut.